the ice Suzu D Max, you can find your very own stretch. Own stretch. Or a day out with the family. Summer goes further with the ice Suzu D Max. And with stock available, you can have your own before you know it. Live your own way in the ice Suzu D Max. and reach more customers. You can use GoDaddy to build a website and online store. So easy. No design or coding skills needed. This landed them their first online orders. Ordering that, ready to collect. Which led to, love it, smashed it. And with marketing tools from GoDaddy, business is still blooming. GoDaddy, with you all the way. Way. Rokeby, set. Go. Take a look inside Hagendas, made of comps, where only the best will do. Combining rich cream, luscious buttery caramel with crunchy brittle. Brittle pieces. Et voilà, the ice cream of ice creams. Say goodbye to sh appliances. Hello, appliances online. Medicines just got cheaper for a range of ongoing health conditions. Can you hear me, please. Yeah. Now, selected PBS medicines can be prescribed for 60 days, giving you twice the medication on a single prescription. Saving you money and time. Ask your doctor if a 60-day prescription is right for you, or visit health.gov.au forward slash cheaper medicines. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. This program brought to you by Kitchen Connection, Australia's number one kitchen renovator. From inspiration to installation, we do it all. We love our Aussie summers. Nothing beats a day on the water. And with the ice Suzu D-Max, you can find your very own stretch. Be it a sunrise surf or a day out with the family. Summer goes further with the Ice Suzu D Max. And with stock available, you can have your own before you know it. Live your own way in the Ice Suzu D Max. Before news headlines, I gave you an offer. Almost unprecedented offer here on Tipping Point. Yep. Four counters for the. Tonight, an Australian aid worker killed by an Israeli strike in Gaza. Our government demanding answers. Happening now, the latest on Network 10's battle to reopen Bruce Lerman's defamation case. Uncertainty for residents and families as landmark aged care reforms are delayed. Eight lives lost. Police express their dismay over the long weekend on our roads. And breaking news on the future of Zach Lomax after the Dragons let him go two years early. This is NBN News with Gavin Morris and Natasha Beersdorf. Good evening. An Australian aid worker killed by an Israeli airstrike in Gaza has been described by her family as a selfless and outstanding human being. The Prime Minister says Zomi Frankham's death is completely unacceptable and is demanding full accountability from Israel. Hey, this is Zomi and Chef Olivier. We're at the Jirabala kitchen. This time last week, Zomi Frankham was in the kitchen, not at a home here in Australia, but Gaza. This is the, the beautiful fragrant aromatic rice that will be served today from Jirabala kitchen. Thank you. Food for the millions of people trapped in the war zone, but that lifeline has been shattered by an Israeli airstrike on an aid truck convoy. 
the recovery of three passports, English, Polish and Australian, grim evidence of who was killed in the attack. 44-year-old Zomi among the seven victims. And our Prime Minister was quick to respond. This is a human tragedy that should never have occurred that is completely unacceptable. Zomi Frankham, who lived in both Sydney and Melbourne, was working for the charity World Central Kitchen. <laughs> Two weeks ago, she was in the belly of a C-13 after a successful airdrop of supplies over Gaza. Yesterday, she sent this photo to her family as she crossed a checkpoint, asking her brother Mal, wish us well. Today, it was her family sending a message to the public. We're deeply mourning the news that our brave and beloved Zomi has been killed doing the work she loves, delivering food to the people of Gaza. She was a kind, selfless and outstanding human being that has travelled the world helping others in their time of need. And it wasn't just war zones. We've heard reports of the town's being cut off with no food, um, you know, without power, without water. In 2019, Zomi and the World Central Kitchen team mounted a mercy mission to Bermagui on the New South Wales south coast amid the black summer bushfires. She helped instigate feeding thousands of people um, and a lot of those people had lost everything they owned. A calm and compassionate hand in times of emergency. She lived for helping other people. So it was a life helping others inexcusably cut short, even though she was working in the most dangerous place on earth. Aid workers and those doing humanitarian work need to be provided with protection. The Israeli Defence Force's only comment to date is conducting a thorough review into what it calls a tragic incident. The federal government is demanding answers now. Israel's top diplomat in Australia, the ambassador, was called this afternoon by senior officials from the Department of Foreign Affairs who had a message from the Prime Minister that Australia expects full accountability for what happened. Damien Ryan, NBN News. A 72-year-old man has died after being struck by a truck on the M1 motorway on the Gold Coast. Police closed all four southbound lanes at Pimpama, causing morning gridlock for commuters. It's believed the driver had pulled over on the side of the road before he was hit. The truck driver has been cleared of any wrongdoing. It was already contentious. Now a developer is planning to expand an upper Hunter wind farm before the first sod is turned. Arc Energy wants to add another 21 turbines to the project and not everyone is on board. At a rainy Bowman's Creek, debate has put a dampener on plans for a 334 megawatt wind farm. I don't want it there. I've been living here 58 years. Stage one of the $569 million project was approved by the Independent Planning Commission in February. But there was a strict condition. Developer Arc Energy instructed to build no more than 54 wind turbines at the site east of Musselbrook. The original stage one was approved uh, was that there was a reduced number. Now Arc Energy has announced a stage two, proposing an extension which would see an additional 21 turbines added to the centre of the stage one development, increasing the wind farm's total output by a further 120 megawatts. Arc Energy's head of development, Martin Poole, announcing the update this morning. Having been in touch with a lot of uh, local landowners, we've realised there's an opportunity to actually increase the capacity of the project but also to do it on land that is already um adjacent to the project in the west, the east and the north. Arc Energy says this extension is all about making the most of resources and infrastructure and while some surrounding residents are in favour, others are making their concerns clear. One resident making a submission to the IPC sharing how the construction of wind turbines on Bowman's Creek alters the environment and landscape and that the turbines are visually intrusive and will cause mental fatigue to residents. State member Dave Lazell admits more public consultation is necessary. The community needs to be able to adjust to these projects, understand the true impact. Stage two will be subject to separate approvals from the New South Wales government. Arc Energy plans to lodge a scoping report in the coming weeks. Isabella Revens, NBN News.
Police are asking people to be on the lookout for a woman missing from Newcastle. 58-year-old Perel McIntosh was last seen at a medical facility at about 7am on Saturday. At the time, she was wearing a black hooded jumper and t-shirt, denim thongs, denim shorts rather, and thongs. Perel is known to frequent Newcastle CBD and beaches. There are concerns for her welfare as she lives with a number of medical conditions. Hunter Valley RFS crews were kept busy over the long weekend responding to separate shed fires. Firefighters were first called to a property at Seam on Sunday afternoon. It's believed an electrical issue sparked a blaze which destroyed a shed there as well as hay bales and a water tank. Meanwhile, an investigation is underway into the cause of a shed fire at Largs which broke out at around 3am yesterday. It took multiple crews more than three hours to bring it under control. The state's Privacy Commissioner has recommended Newcastle Council make a new decision about releasing information related to the privatisation of the city's pools. A freedom of information request made by a member of the public was denied by the council and the Commissioner says they're not satisfied with the reasons provided. Why will the council not inform the community about why we need uh, information about an engineering report? What is council hiding. Newcastle Council says it will consider the Commissioner's recommendation but notes that it's non-binding. What started as a school project could turn into new facilities for young people in Newcastle. A teenage student has successfully lobbied the City Council for more skate parks that cater for more riders. Johnny Maloney is only 15 but he doesn't think that should stop him from having a say in the future of his hometown. Anyone can do it, you just gotta take action. Don't be scared to get the ball rolling. It started as a school project at Big Picture Learning's Cooks Hill campus, designed to get students more involved in the community. Johnny was so inspired, he launched a petition to get skate parks built at Merriweather and Adamstown, catering for a more diverse range of riders. I learn at Bar Beach, but it was pretty difficult because the ramps there aren't really meant for beginners and they're pretty like steep. It takes Johnny more than an hour of walking and bus rides to reach such ramps like the one at Mayfield. Almost 200 people signed the petition and it came to the attention of Councillor Jenny Barry. The idea becoming a motion that was debated and passed by Newcastle Council. When I found out it was 2008 or 2009 since this was looked at and the parks in 2014, I thought it was high time to look at, you know, something for youth. Councillor Barry says the next step is to find the best spot and lobby for funding. So this would be lovely to work with the youth committee as well and then try and see if we can work on a skate park in that area of Ward 2. While skating is his passion, Johnny is proud of getting the wheels of government turning. It felt really good. It was, I had to have some patience and determination, but good result. Tony Ambrogetti, NBN News. The cast of a new circus extravaganza filled the Spiegel tent in Civic Park today ahead of opening night. A combination of music, dance and acrobatics, Limbo, the return, has made its way to Newcastle after wowing crowds at the Adelaide Fringe Festival. They can expect to be absolutely surprised from the get-go. Limbo is like strapping into a, a, a carnival ride and just going 100 miles an hour. And then there's these like little surprising moments of beauty. The show begins tomorrow night and will run until the 5th of May. A, de a day that delivers just about everything. Stunning morning, beautiful and cool, heating up, then cloud increased and a rain band moved through. But temperatures topped out generally into the high 20s. Interesting days ahead. Details later. Fears for school holiday travel plans with airport firefighters set to walk off the job. The latest from our reporter next. Also ahead, Australia locks in a historic defence deal with Germany. And mission accomplished. 23 women complete an epic fundraiser for the Mark Hughes Foundation. Kirin Ichiban, made from only the...
should reach more customers. You can use GoDaddy to build a website and online store. So easy. No design or coding skills needed. This landed them their first online orders. Ordering that, ready to collect. Which led to, love it, smashed it. And with marketing tools from GoDaddy, business is still blooming. GoDaddy, with you all the way. There's no shame in getting old. If you've been independent your whole life, it's so hard to ask for help. Take the first step and it'll be a lot easier. To be loved and cared for and then to love and to care so deeply, I think that's the essence of being human. The most important thing in life is love and caring for each other in a place like this. His biggest morning tea. Let's make it personal. Meet my boyfriend, Jake. What's up, everyone? What is all over your feet? Your flowers. I study botany. Resting dad face back there likes plants too. Grab some pruners. Let's prune. Terry White Kenmart has real deals on all your favorite brands like Living Healthy Immune Support, Centrum Advanced Multivitamin, and Black Wars Magnum 250 Tablets. Get real deals every day at Terry White Kenmart, dedicated to care. What are you risking online? Set up multi-factor authentication. Learn simple steps to protect yourself at actnowstaysecure.gov.au. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Remember, stay focused. We're just here for a tow ball. Wait a sec. Hilux is in stock. Oh. Find your O at your local Toyota dealer with Hilux stock available now. Toyota. I'm part of a team working on a first for mining in New South Wales. Turning this coal mine into a new hydro power plant and solar farm to generate renewable energy for families and businesses. At Mojo, our homes now come with seven star as standard. Plus, we're also including a huge $65,000 cash discount. So if your builder isn't offering seven star as standard, visit Mojo Homes today. Landmark reforms to the aged care sector will be delayed, with providers, residents and families being left in the dark. Leaked documents show the industry shake-up could be pushed back to next year, with fears for the health of tens of thousands of older Australians. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Their once-in-a-generation reforms aiming to protect a new generation and a sector crucial to the community. But tonight, there's more uncertainty in aged care. It's way too long. How long do a lot of people have to wait for rights? In waiting for a long time, number one recommendation from the Royal Commission. Leaked internal departmental communications suggest new laws will not be implemented by July 1. Implementation date is TBC, but January or July next year is predicted. We still haven't seen quite large portions of this legislation and we haven't yet seen the rules. The new law is born from a damning Royal Commission that pointed to a July 1 start date this year. The changes designed to set new standards for residents' rights, quality of care, and create a simpler system. But a recent Q&A with the department highlighted time as a problem. Oh, a very popular question around the timing of the new Aged Care Act. July 1 is not very far away. That's the date that government um, has committed to, but it's subject to parliamentary passage. That passage will likely involve Senate committees and greater scrutiny. If we rush it and we don't get the transition right and we don't ensure people are trained appropriately, we will potentially fail generations of older people. It's no wonder the sector is nervous because they just really don't know what the minister is intending. Government sources confirm the delay targeting later this year. In a statement, the minister said the government is now considering the extensive and valuable feedback to refine and finalise the draft legislation and older Australians are receiving an additional 2.16 million care minutes every single day. 
The exposure draft also discusses civil and criminal penalties for staff and directors. The industry tonight worried rush laws would result in staff leaving the sector. This is the lack of transparency. People just don't know. And when they don't know, they become fearful. Tackling aged care funding and quality has long been overlooked. The Albanese government deserves credit for taking on the task. But tonight, providers, residents and worried families will have to wait a little longer. Charles Croucher, NBN News. The federal court is now hearing an urgent application by Network 10, which has made a last minute bid to reopen Bruce Lerman's defamation case. Ruth Wynne Williams is there for us. Ruth, good evening. What are we learning? Well, good evening. This court battle is right now back on the focus. Uh, more than 2,300 pages are part of an affidavit that has been sworn by former Seven Spotlight producer Taylor Auerbach and lawyers for Network 10. They claim this evidence proves Bruce Lerman leaked evidence from his own criminal trial to Seven's Spotlight show, despite denying that through his own lawyers during the defamation trial here in Sydney. Uh, right now, Lerman's lawyers are strongly denying any suggestion uh, that this trial, should, strongly fighting any suggestion that this trial uh, should be reopened at all. They say that uh, calling our back as early as tomorrow, as the judge is to Tonight, suggesting is too soon for them to prepare any case, uh, but we should have a decision tonight. Ruth, thank you. Well, Time Airlines has offered compensation to the passengers injured on a flight from Sydney to Auckland last month, but one Australian law firm is urging people not to sign anything. Carter Kapner says passengers have been offered payments of between $2,000 and around $7,500, but it's warning passengers to seek legal advice, saying they may be eligible for more significant compensation. School holiday plans could be thrown into disarray with strike action planned for many of Australia's busiest airports. Firefighters will walk off the job claiming staff shortages are putting passengers at risk. Vicky Jardim joins us now from Sydney Airport. Vicky, what's been planned? is designed for maximum impact. Firefighters at Australian airports are planning a four-hour stoppage on April the 15th. Now, this is the first day of school holidays for many here in New South Wales. Firefighters are targeting 27 Australian airports. They allege documents show staffing levels are creating a risk for travellers at airports such as Brisbane and Melbourne. There's deemed to be an extreme risk for travellers in the case of an emergency. Well, here at Sydney Airport, there's classified to be a high risk. We don't take this action lightly. But the safety of air travellers will always be our first and most important priority. We cannot do our job properly unless we are properly staffed and properly resourced. Air Services Australia has disputed the claims, saying all this action is in regards to firefighters seeking a 20% pay increase over three years. Vicky, thank you. Police have expressed their dismay following the Easter long weekend on New South Wales roads. Eight lives were lost across the state with more than 60 major crashes from the central coast to the Queensland border. Long weekend over and back to a sad and sobering reality. Eight lives lost on the roads of New South Wales over the Easter long weekend. It's eight families coming to terms with the real tragedy that someone's missing. New South Wales Police revealing the wash up from another Easter road blitz and it's not good. Nearly 6,000 speeding fines statewide, roughly 500 busted on their phones, about the same for not wearing seat belts and that's just the start. Reckless, irresponsible and dangerous behaviours. Police have released a worst offenders list from this weekend. Among them, a 38 year old man from Borkham Hills, accused of being drunk and high on cocaine while travelling at 203 kilometres an hour in a hundred zone on the M2 at North Rocks early Sunday morning. And late on Good Friday, a 17 year old pea plater accused of speeding at 120 kilometres per hour in a 70 zone through Mascot. With three passengers inside, he crashed and all were injured. 
Amongst these numbers, there is one trend that's worrying some of our state's most senior police. That is the amount of drivers on our roads under the influence of drugs. There were more than 17,000 roadside drug tests this long weekend. 863 returned positive. That's one drugged driver in every 20 tested. Compare that to one drunk driver every 850 tested. 295 charged with drink driving after 230,000 breath tests. It is simply unacceptable. In Huntingwood, Alex Heinke, NBN News. Australian manufacturing is shaping up to be a key piece of the May budget. The Prime Minister today paid a visit to workers building armoured vehicles for Germany's military. On the factory floor, inspecting parts for these vehicles of war soon to be sent across the world. We've just got you some more work. Oh, I heard. Australia's biggest ever defence export deal now in motion. This is a concrete example of Australia working with our partners. German military giant Rheinmetall is building a hundred boxer heavy weapon carrier vehicles at its Australian base in Ipswich, west of Brisbane. The one billion dollar deal creating more than 600 local jobs. This is all about secure, well-paid manufacturing jobs. And for Germany, it's all about security. Germany urgently needs to re-equip its military because of Russia's threats to Europe. The danger of conflict spilling out of Ukraine, sparking the agreement, first inked when the Prime Minister visited Berlin last July. The armoured vehicles, already in use by the Australian Army, have a reputation for their lethal precision. Getting um, first rounds of pinpoint accuracy compared to the, uh, our previous platform is really impressive. The Queenslanders assembling them guaranteed a job until at least the end of the decade. The first boxer to be exported to Germany will be in 2026 and the contract will be complete by 2030. Industry incentives to fire up Australian manufacturing in sectors like defence, resources and renewables will be a focus of the next federal budget now just six weeks away. Eliza Edwards, NBN News. Leaked documents show federal politicians who play up could have their pay docked by up to 5% or be suspended if a law is passed to create a body to investigate allegations of misconduct. The Independent Parliamentary Standards Commission is supposed to be established by October, nearly three years after the Jenkins report into parliamentary behaviour called for its creation. A dedicated group has completed an eight-day trek on the Kokoda Trail, smashing more than just personal goals. The 23 women also raised a whopping $415,000 for the Mark Hughes Foundation. The money will be used to fund brain cancer awareness and research initiatives across the Hunter and Australia. Well, after a stunning Easter weekend, the first of a number of changes is moving through this afternoon into tonight. The first front is sweeping across the region, delivering a large rain band. That front is moving quite quickly and it's weakening as it moves into northeastern New South Wales overnight. So tomorrow, fine for the Greater Hunter, mid-north coast and northwest. For the northern rivers in southeast Queensland, there is going to be some patchy showers developing as that trough stalls. Apart from the Moree Plains, top temperatures will largely remain just below 30 degrees. A significant rain event is on the way from Thursday. Details later. Next, straight out of a Cold War thriller, new claims that Russia is behind so-called sonic attacks on American agents. A fresh warning about what's passive vaping, what it could be doing to your health. And meet the hunter dancer bound for the world's best known cabaret show. Back home, the Wilsons always use proper dinner etiquette. Out here, the stick will do just fine. When my hearing changed, Audica understood. I don't just want to keep hearing my friends. To keep being me. Book a hearing check with one of our experts and see how our personalized care can help you keep being you. Love your ears at Audica. Anytime's a good time to learn with Tape New South Wales short courses. 
Whether you're short on time, think it's time for a change, or time for a skills boost, you can change your life in just days or weeks. Search Take New South Wales Short Courses. Each week, IGA checks and matches the regular prices of the big two on hundreds of essentials. Here's proof. Like Devondale Dairy Soft Butter Blend Tub, price matched. And Indomie Mee Goreng Instant Noodles 5-Pack, price matched. We checked, we matched, you won't pay more. We created HCF Life Insurance to look after our members and their families, like the Afouris, with extra support like grief counselling and up to $1.5 million in payment. The only thing you won't get is a fancy welcome gift because we spent all our money making our life insurance great. So because you've signed up to Life Protect, you can pick you can pick anything off this table. Would you like this? No thanks. A uh, cheese knife? Our climate Climate is becoming more unpredictable, and we're seeing extreme weather. Many parts of our region are drought affected. Water is precious, and it's critical to every aspect of our lives. We all need to continue to make smart water choices, so our supply lasts longer. In any weather. For more tips and information, Head to hunterwater.com.au Paris Scarf's mid-season sale is on now. Save 40 to 60% off all cookware by Tefal Reco and more. 40 to 60% off all quilt cover sets and 30 to 50% off all clothing. Hurry, sale ends Sunday 7th of April. Conditions apply. Paris Scarf. Great brands, great prices. Adam thought he'd never get Sarah camping. How wrong you were, Adam. You're watching NBN News. These are our top local stories. There's been a road tragedy on the Gold Coast with a 72-year-old dead after being hit by a truck on the M1 motorway. There are plans to expand an Upper Hunter wind farm. Arc Energy is proposing to add another 21 turbines to the project, which has stirred up community debate. It's emerged almost 50 people were arrested for driving offences across the Oxley and New England district over the Easter long weekend. Mid Coast residents have voiced concern over an approved subdivision at Bluey's Beach. The local council has confirmed it's investigating land clearing at the site. And the Clarence Valley community has thrown its support behind young Lennox Monaghan. The 12-year-old actor has just appeared in his first feature film, Windcatcher. A teacher at All Saints College, Maitland, has been accused of having sex with a student while they were under his care. The 39-year-old was arrested last Thursday and has been charged with nine counts of sexual intercourse with a person aged between 17 and 18. The Catholic Diocese of Maitland and Newcastle says the man is on administrative leave and that the school will continue to support the police inquiry. He'll face court later this month. Well, it sounds like a plot from James Bond, but tonight there are real allegations that Russia could be using a sonic weapon to target FBI and CIA agents. It follows years of operatives suffering what's known as Havana syndrome, but the report has been dismissed by the Kremlin. At the home of America's commander in chief, an Easter tradition and a message. It's time to pray for one another. At a time when it's claimed those working to protect America are under attack by Russia. Bam, inside my right ear, it was like a dentist drilling on steroids. CBS's 60 Minutes reporting a secret Russian intelligence unit could be using sonic weaponry, a beam of sound, to target CIA and FBI agents, leaving them suffering headaches, nausea and brain fog. This wasn't happening to our 
worst or our middle range officers. This was happening to our top five, 10% performing officers. There was some angle where they had worked against Russia, focused on Russia and done extremely well. The mysterious illness known as Havana syndrome was first detected at the US embassy in Cuba in 2016. Now it's reported this car chase in Florida may have exposed a Russian link. <laughs> The driver, believed to be a spy, studied radio electronics to use in Russia's military. Today, the Pentagon confirmed a defence official at last year's NATO summit in Lithuania suffered Havana syndrome symptoms. Previously, two CIA agents on a visit to Australia also claimed they had been attacked. I don't think uh, the government, frankly, when I was there, took it seriously enough. I don't think they've taken it seriously enough since then. Publicly, the US intelligence community has said it is unlikely a foreign adversary is to blame. And the White House is tight-lipped on the possibility of a hot weapon in a modern day Cold War. Look, we take this very seriously. In the United States, Jonathan Kersley, NBN News. An SUV has rammed into the gate of an FBI office in Atlanta. Police say the driver tried to follow an employee's car into the complex, but was stopped by the barrier. He then tried to make a run for it, but was arrested by officers. Israel is being blamed for an airstrike in the Syrian capital, Damascus, that killed two senior Iranian military officials. The attack destroyed part of Iran's consulate and also left several other people dead. Tehran has called it a breach of all international conventions and warned its response will be harsh. Donald Trump has posted a $270 million bond in his New York civil fraud case. The move means state authorities can't... Two hundred odd chemicals, um, many of which are very, very harmful. So harmful they've been linked to cancer, heart disease and lung damage. Concerns about e-cigarettes started not long after they first appeared, but today a new warning. New South Wales Health raising the alarm about the potential harm from passive vaping, inhaling the vapour from someone else's e-cigarette. Public health experts warn that vapour, much like tobacco smoke, is far from just a harmless cloud of steam. We don't know what the long-term risks are going to be, just as we didn't know what the long-term risks were going to be with passive smoking. Vaping is banned wherever cigarette smoking is banned and health inspectors can issue on-the-spot fines Cigarette smoking is banned and health inspectors can issue on-the-spot fines of $300. It's not fleeting exposures we should be worried about. It's people who are doing it in residences, in their homes and exposing their families in occupational settings. The government admits it needs to be concerned about more than just passive vaping, given the increasing number of younger people who are now taking up the habit. It's already launched a campaign with younger people warning others about the dangers. I just woke up like gasping for air and just rushed me to hospital. My lungs just felt like they were on fire. I really did think I was going to die. What we cannot afford to see is a next generation of people hooked on nicotine, hooked on other products that are contained in vapes, and then we have a situation the same way uh, that we occurred last century in terms of tobacco and cigarettes. Eddie Meyer, NBN News. A draft of the first national autism strategy has been released, canvassing ways to secure better opportunities for hundreds of thousands of Australians. The plan, now open for consultation, aims to improve outcomes in health, social and economic inclusion and diagnosis. Research shows families face an average delay of 27 months between first noticing signs of autism in their child and receiving support. 
Bowel cancer is expected to claim more lives in the coming years and COVID lockdowns are being blamed. New modelling by Australian researchers shows there's likely to be an extra 234 cases and more than 1,000 deaths nationwide over the next six years. They say a lack of screening during the pandemic will result in a 2.4% increase in bowel cancer mortality rates. But increasing testing by 5% to address the backlog could prevent up to 350 deaths. To finance and attention turning to the latest Reserve Bank minutes today, we show an important shift in thinking. Chris Kohler has the details. The official minutes show something has changed at the Reserve Bank. For the first time since April 2022, an interest rate hike was not actively considered at the most recent meeting. Investors already had a pretty strong feeling rate increases were finished, but now they're all the more confident. The ASX hit a new record high this morning before cooling off in the afternoon, down nine points for the day. Most people would call that a flat finish. BHP was strong while Telstra dropped 1%. And the Australian dollar drifted down below 65 US cents over the long weekend, but was higher today. One Aussie is also buying 60 and a half euro cents and 51.7 British pence. The Moulin Rouge in Paris is home to the most famous cabaret show in the world. Soon, it's going to be the new home of a Newcastle dancer who'll step onto the stage for the... Dance Academy student Grace Whittaker will be part of the show. I finished high school and I didn't really know where I was and because I loved dance I had this opportunity and I took it. Grace got the call up in February ahead of hundreds of other girls who auditioned last June. I was first person that I told and then of course I rang all my dance teachers. Rebecca Higgins learned to dance at the same studio. She's now in her fifth year at the Moulin Rouge. Grace and I are going back on the same flight so when we land we'll be going in the same taxi straight to Moulin. I'll take her up into her apartment then I'll take her around to all the shops, show her the ropes a little bit. I'm more comfortable with the experience knowing that I've got someone that has done it all before. Grace started dancing when she was three but credits her teachers at the academy for inspiring her to believe she could make it a career. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. She deserves it. She's worked hard. And now we have two girls at the Moulin. <laughs> so it's fabulous. Australians are no stranger to the stage at the Paris Icon, recognised for their world-class technique and training. Grace believes our passion also takes us to the top. Of course your training is so important but if you do, you've got to love it to be able to do it and that's what kept me going. Tony Ambrogetti, NBN News. Oh, a good year to be in Paris. Yeah, yeah, they'll have a great time. Absolutely. All right, let's move to sport now with Sophie. The Dragons have agreed to release Zach Lomax, Soph. He's had the next two years of his contract terminated, but he may be forced to stick around for the rest of the season. Coming up, breaking news on Lomax's next move, and the Eels are involved. Also ahead, the Knights get another new halves pairing, and the Matildas assemble for their clash with Mexico. Medicine's just got cheaper for a range of ongoing health conditions. Now, selected PBS medicines can be prescribed for 60 days. Ask your doctor if a 60 day, 60 day prescription is right for you. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Next Guard Spectra for Cats. The Home Restyle Sale is on now at Beacon with a massive 20% off all lights and 15% off all fans to give your home a brighter, lighter look. Hurry, sale on now. With Beacon. Red Rocks team, assemble! Chat, share bets and get unrivaled access to racing experts now in the Labrox app. You win some, you lose more. 
superstars Ben Feldman. Ah. Stars in the darkly funny Stan original series Population 11. Looking for my father, Hugo. I'm not here, you guys. A hilarious crime mystery from the director of Hacks and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. In a town this tiny, everyone's a suspect. I'll keep a close eye on everyone. Ah! Great, now I have to log that. The brand new Stan original series Population 11. Now streaming only on Stan. With Macca's new surprise prize, you've got a one in four chance of winning. <laughs> With millions of dollars worth of prizes, plus weekly draws for your chance to win $10,000 cash. Peel your fries for a chance to find a prize. Going too fast and not paying attention to your surroundings is dangerous for everyone on our roads. So drive slowly around roadworks in New South Wales and look after the people who are making our roads safer. Slow down. Road workers around. Looking for a contemporary home at an affordable price? Discover unbeatable value at Domain Homes. Find out how you can save 10% and price your new home today at domainhomes.com.au. Anaconda's Easter Madness Sale is on now. Up to 50% off camping gear, outdoor clothing, kayaks, bikes and more. Some exclusions apply. Up to 50% off Easter Madness Sale on now at Anaconda. Play more and pay less without 10%. Price be guaranteed. Anaconda! At the Australian Caravan Centre, you'll find your dream caravan, offering brand new, pre-owned, off-road, touring and luxury caravans. Our friendly staff will find the caravan that suits your needs and budget. Australian Caravan Centre, Hillebrae, Newcastle. Come down to 40 Winks this week and check out this awesome offer. Get mattresses from $3.99 and bedroom furniture from $2.99. Discover our Sleep Savers range today. Exclusions and T's and C's apply. Go to better sleep at 40 Winks. Luke Brooks has been one of the NRL season's most impressive performers and there's a pretty simple reason behind it. He's loving his footy. After making the move to Manly, Brooks has been studying his new skipper and believes it's making a difference. Back-to-back -back losses for the Seagulls, but life doesn't get much better for Luke Brooks. How much are you enjoying your footy at the moment? Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's, um, it's been good so far. The more games I play uh, with these boys is definitely helps build my confidence and um, yeah, I'm just enjoying my footy at the moment. The key to that is Captain Daly Cherry Evans. It gives me confidence going out there. Brooks believes his skipper's influence off the field has seen him start the season in form. Chez is, what is he, 35? Yeah, he's always wanting to learn and that's one thing I learned from him that although he's done it all in the game, he's still, every day he's trying to learn something. On Saturday, the Seagulls face the Panthers who controlled the Roosters even without Nathan Cleary. I don't know why we're always surprised about it. <laughs> We've seen it for four years straight. Brad Schneider, the latest half to star in Cleary's absence. They probably even had a little bit of pressure from the previous guys we've had. Sully and Cogs have done a good job, so for him to go out and play well, that, that, that's really pleasing, but, you know, he's got to do it again this week. Alongside James Fisher-Harris, who returned from a shoulder injury. He's our forward leader and has been for some time. Yeah, he's probably just more than the way he plays. He just... He brings a level of leadership and confidence you know, to the rest of the team. Sam Jordan, NBN News. Jackson Hastings will return to the Knights starting lineup this Friday after being dropped to the New South Wales Cup side after round two. He replaces Tyson Gamble in the halves and will play halfback with Jack Cogger moving to 5 8 Jaden Braley will start at hooker while Dane Gagai returns from a medical condition and Leo Thompson is back from suspension. The Dragons have agreed to release Zach Lomax at the end of the season and he's free to negotiate with rival clubs immediately. NRL reporter Michael Chamis joins us live. Michael, he's wasting no time in his bid to find a new home. Yeah, that's right, Sophie. Zach Lomax has organised to meet with the Parramatta Reels tomorrow as he looks to secure a new deal. It was a dramatic day at the Dragons. They agreed to terminate the final two years of his deal worth around $800,000 dollars per season. Now the Eels, they're willing to offer him a long-term deal to until at least the end 
of 2027. But what they really want is Zach Lomax to join the club immediately. The Dragons, they won't release him right now. They want a player in return and there's a standoff at the moment, but you can be guaranteed one thing, Zach Lomax, he won't be a Dragon in 2025. Thank you. Newcastle's Emily Van Egmond has joined her Matilda's teammates that we have is, as we don't have that much time. Um, I think that's really important. The friendly against Mexico kicks off at 10 a.m. our time next Wednesday. Coming up next, Aussie star Cameron Smith opens up about golf's drawn out merger. Medicines just got cheaper for a range of ongoing health conditions. Now, selected PBS medicines can be prescribed for 60 days. Ask your doctor if a 60 day around to Jones so Sarah knows she's not alone. Raising cash with this Motley crew, it really is the least we can do. Baking my wife's pecan pie, one thing I'll always remember her by. All of us will be affected by cancer at some point in our lives, so this Australia's biggest morning tea, let's make it personal. <laughs> Rough cold bro, try to fix vapor drops extra strong, up to three times more menthol. Nose and nose and throat. Sniper drops extra strong. Smoking causes 16 different types of cancer and you have one clear way to reduce your risk. Refresh your bedroom at Harvey Norman with great deals on now. Enjoy a bonus cushion or European pillowcase with selected quilt cover set or coverlet sets like the Alden, just 119 for the queen size, plus bonus cushion. Featuring five zones of micro pocket coil support, the Australian made Sleepmaker Raphael Queen mattress in four fields for 1999. Make a grand statement with the Australian made Bellevue extended four draw queen bed and choose your stain and fabric to suit your style. More to inspire at Harvey Norman now. Are you thinking al fresco and looking for something simple? Call HV Aluminium. Are you looking for something stylish? Call HV Aluminium. Or are looking for ideas to design something stunning? If you're thinking al fresco, call or visit HV Aluminium New Lantern. 1800 801 572. Cameron Smith concedes sacrif sacrifices need to be made in order for the PGA and Liv Tours to unify, but he may not be willing to make them himself as the two parties continue drawn out negotiations. Being able to spend more was really good in his, his first up run and we've purposely kept him now for, for Newcastle, big spacious track. Uh, Baltic Case was really good at Kembla. The first three place getters in the Provincial Midway Championship qualifier will get a start at Randwick on Saturday week. It's the biggest rivalry in the NPL and this weekend it will be reignited when the Magic and Olympic And this weekend, it will be reignited when the Magic and Olympic go head to head. This year, Broadmeadow has a new face on the sideline, but he's certainly a familiar one. 
Back in 2004, Jim Kresner steered the Magic to grand final glory as the side's captain. Two decades on, the club veteran has a new role, head coach. Been with Magic for the last uh, four years as the director of football. Um, I've spent a bit of time in Central Coast Mariners as well, prior to that with Newcastle Jets. And with five wins, five rounds in, it's certainly been a magic start to the season. I think we just need to stop leaking a few goals um, coming from me and the rest of the defenders. Uh, we need to keep a few more clean sheets, I think. Broadmeadow came close to winning the NPL title last season, beaten 2-1 by the Jaffers in the grand final. Training's been very intense. Um, I think it started at the start of pre-season, so we're well up to speed now. We had a couple of injuries early on, but um, basically all of us are back and we're firing on all cylinders at the moment. A real test of that comes this Sunday when Broadmeadow hosts rivals Newcastle Olympic, who've had an inconsistent start to 2024. Derby game's are always a bit bigger. Um, I think dates back from a long time ago how much these two teams don't like each other and I think uh, out in the field we'll put in 100% to try and get a win. The clash at Magic Park begins at 2.30. They've had three losses in three trial games, but the Wildfires coach is confident his side can start its shoot shield campaign on a winning note. The men take on defending Premier's Randwick this Saturday in the opening round. They're already the reigning champs and the Galloping Greens could be even more formidable in 2024. Former Wallaby Kirtley Beale appears set to play for Randwick after donning the jersey in the Australian Club Championship two weeks ago. They're definitely going to be a force and it's a really good guide stick to see where we are at the start of the season. But the Wildfires have exciting additions of their own, particularly in the front row. Dal Kalamatangi is a guy that stands out. Um, the experience that he brings having played in a rugby World Cup uh, for Tonga last season and um, his experience in Super Rugby and, and in New Zealand. And that's being backed up by world-class coaches. Andrew Blades, former World Cup winning prop, uh, was coaching the Waratah Scrum last year and he's helping us out this year to go along with Matt Hopkins, our forwards coach. So the forwards set piece is going to be a juggernaut again this year. While the Wildfires remain winless after three pre-season trials, they're confident they'll hit their straps. Hopefully we come come home strong you know, at the end of the year at the right time, but um, the, the first thing is to start off well, so a big round one at, uh, at home against Randwick. And that kicks off at 3pm on Saturday at number two sports ground. Montana Claire, NBN News. It's going to be a huge weekend of sport. It seems oh. Lots of competitions kicking off just the way. Thank you. Yeah, well, the fields could be a little boggy. We've got a major rain event on the way at the end of the week. Details on that and more straight after break. Development disaster over their back fences. A current affair next. Um, ooh, I'm a little business boy. Go on, contribute. Shh. Tell them something business-ish. Quiet your mind mouth with extra gum. Chew you good. Reverse parking. That's a thing. That is not a thing. Finishing a flat pack? Thing! Mars, for you who did that thing you did. The Murray Darling Rivers pump life through our nation, supplying one third of Australia's food. But water's being overused, and the next drought is only a matter of time. Find out how the Australian Government's plan will restore the Murray Darling Rivers. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. <laughs> Then you can't live without the AGL Netflix electricity plan. With Netflix included for the life of your plan. AGL do that? They do do that. Where have you been for my life? Join AGL's Netflix electricity plan today. Protect your number one mate with Australia's number one. NextGuard Spectra. It's the most complete protection against fleas, ticks, mites, worms and even heartworm. All in one tasty tube. NextGuard Spectra. 
Introducing Gillette Labs with Exfoliating Bar. With one stroke exfoliation, it clears a path on your skin before the blades for an effortless shave. Level up with Gillette Labs. Book your table today at the all-new Lakeside Village Tavern. The truck's become part of the family. I guess it reminds people who we are. Nice to know that people notice it and care about it as well. It's time to hit the ice and see your six-time national champions of Newcastle North Stars take on the best from around Australia. For tickets and game day information, visit northstars.com.au. Major sponsor, Newcastle Psychiatry. It's hard to tell pain, but I didn't want to do things. You know, when you've got three kids, you want to get out and about all the time. So you having no pain, that's vital. For me, the Good Feet store made a big difference. See for yourself with a free personalised arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. What a stunning start to autumn it has been. Some beautiful noons front moving through. It is the first sign that the season is ready to change. Let's first of all head to New Haven, looking back at North Brother, down the river at sunset. Great shot from BJ. Over the past 24 hours, Victoria smashed by this front that moved into New South Wales and across our region. It was a beautiful morning though, wasn't it? Absolutely stunning. We've had great mornings, just a little bit cooler then it warms up quite dramatically. Now that rain band is moving through and clearing quite quickly and running out of juice though as it moves into northern New South Wales. So that is going to clear. For us, generally fine. Southwesterly wind switching around to the southeast late in the afternoon. Big high sliding into the bite, making sure that the cold air now is noticed right throughout the southeast for Tasmania and Melbourne. Not bad in Hobart. Sydney town, generally fine conditions. Risk of a shower is small. Uh, Brisbane, you've got that rain band or more so just the leftover trough lingering tomorrow. Cloud showers there. Uh, the Alice is comfortable along with Adelaide, uh, Perth, 31 degrees and storms likely for Darwin. Uh, locally, very warm and then the cloud increased and that rain band came through, moving through quite quickly and pretty much all over with. Tomorrow, there's the southwesterly winds switching around to the south southeast. All of the fronts so far for 2024 really haven't been that cold. This one too, not overly cold, but again, that is going to shift somewhat. Tomorrow, overall, it's another good looking day. Glorious. We'll see some cloud there begin to build in the afternoon and maybe the chance, slight chance of a late shower with it. Otherwise, we're looking in the mid-20s, so again, another very comfortable day on the way. A little bit cooler tomorrow morning, down about 13, 14 degrees for most locations. Inland, a little bit cooler there, 11 and 12, so starting to really notice the cooler conditions overnight. But then warming through the day up to about 27 degrees. So again, by lunch uh, into the early afternoon, just a really sublime day on the way. But for many, rain is needed and it's on its way. Swell, uh, starting Starting out quite small, there's a new swell coming through, beginning to build up to two metres, and that'll be coming in out of the south. New swell there at a metre, wave period just six seconds, but as I said, beginning small. Uh, sun to rise well after seven o'clock now at the moment. Daylight saving ends on Sunday, finally. Uh, you've got the high tide early, so we're hitting the low tide tomorrow just before 11 a.m. and back to the high at 5 p.m. So here comes the wet weather, beginning to build there Thursday into Friday. Could get pretty wild. There could be just a little micro low hitting us. It's exact location, hard to pinpoint, but looks like we are going to cop some significant rain there at the end of the week. Then generally clearing as we move into Saturday to start the weekend and probably by late Saturday, Saturday evening. Looks like most of it's going to be done with, so that'll make way for a fine start to next week. next week and still some warmth there in it but be prepared for a wild couple of days the rain will be very welcome inland throughout the upper hunter indeed and we could see heavier significant falls and maybe some flash flooding in that system building uh thursday 
Thursday, Friday, so be warned. Let's take a look at uh, this evening's uh, coast. Uh, just fabulous. Wow, it's been beautiful. Our beaches have just been in all their glory at the moment. The water is still amazing in at 21 degrees. There's been some swell. We had the offshore winds today. It was so inviting. So tomorrow we've got the southwesterlies in the morning. Make the most of it. Yes, the threat of flash flooding is going to be quite widespread on Friday. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, Gav. To breaking news before... trial will be reopened. It comes following new evidence by Network 10. We will have more in the late news tonight at 11. That's our bulletin for this Tuesday. Our current affair is next and we'll have updates throughout the evening. So thanks for your company from all of the NBN team. Good night. Good night. Hello, I'm Ali Langdon. Welcome to A Current Affair. Coming up, drugs, prostitutes and a very expensive steak. Explosive allegations as Bruce Lehrman's defamation case reopens. Plus, the squatter who's made a hair salon home and she's refusing to move. She's basically built her own little private studio underneath my salon. But first, far too often we see the heartbreaking impact of floods. So imagine one town's rage and disbelief when developers got the OK to fill in a floodplain to build hundreds of new houses. The water has to go somewhere and locals fear it'll be their homes that go under. They're drowning our town. We're going under. We're talking hundreds of thousands of tonnes of fill. It's disgusting. Because the water, where does it go then? It's got to go to the lowest lying areas, which is us, unfortunately. The actual house went underwater and had 200 mil of water right through the whole house. Stop oh, the With views like this, it's easy to see why Yamba in northern New South Wales has gone from being a small, sleepy coastal town to a holiday favourite for tourists. But locals say their idyllic lifestyle is now under threat because the town is being drowned by developers. For the dozens of residents who turned up to protest outside this development, it's not what's being built, but where.
This is where they were pinching power from so as you can see it's quite high as well they've also reached out to support groups and were surprised to hear there was little anyone could do all of the homeless shelters in the area are full i called all of them my team called all of them it's very difficult for the services uh, they're very hamstrung um, unfortunately it's not an isolated case there's quite a few of these problematic things that are going on Alex Russo founded Night Ninjas, a local charity to help the homeless in the area. It's definitely an issue that's on the increase. We've seen quadruple the amounts. We do day call outs as well. We've got 10 teams of volunteers uh, serving and loving on those who are struggling and it, we just don't, can't see an end in sight. If, if anything, it's just getting worse. We literally clean this up ourselves and we are continuing to clean it up. So they keep coming back. Making matters worse, Emma lost a previous business to a fire lit by a homeless person back in 2021. I'm concerned, even though that she's moved on across the road, that she might retaliate because we got the police involved and um, she's not too happy with us at the moment. There are those that say they don't want any support, but if you really took the time and got to know them, it's a way forward um, because these people have had probably traumas that have happened and it's never been dealt with. Emma's landlord has now taken steps to prevent the squatter from returning, but these businesses know it's only a matter of time before the woman sets up shop again somewhere else. Those people are not inherently bad people, you know? They are suffering and we need to get them the help that they need um, in order for, for their lives to improve. It's a really tough situation, isn't it? And Queensland police told a current affair, homelessness is not a criminal offence, but officers are doing regular patrols. Up next, don't mess with a man and his plant, the bizarre council fight over a garden. Unfriendly, dogmatic, Egotistical. You think they've taken a management course or Vladimir Putin? With a website from GoDaddy, you can sell in more ways. Light blooms by the Bay Florist. The owner said, I want our business to flourish and reach more customers. You can use GoDaddy to build. a website and online store. So easy. No design or coding skills needed. This landed them their first online orders. Ordering that, ready to collect. Which led to, love it, smashed it. And with marketing tools from GoDaddy, business is still blooming. GoDaddy, with you all the way. Pedestrian television has landed on Nine Now. It's here to bring young Aussies everything they give a shit about to the TV free. Dig into the content via Nine Now, where you can take your pick from our collection. A collection of twisted reality, outrageous comedy, and celeb packed game shows. Or let us choose what's on and join via the live stream, where you'll be treated to exclusive music, news, and cult films that you won't find anywhere else. Pedestrian Television, streaming chaos 24-7, free on Nine Now, live and on demand. Dad, here it is. Designed and tested by Toyota. Wait a sec. Hilux is in stock. Oh. Nice floor mats. There are oh so many reasons to visit your local Toyota dealer with Hilux stock available now. Toyota. Not sure? You can always talk to me. Every conversation brings us closer to a world without child sexual abuse. Let's end child sexual abuse, one talk at a time. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Try Hungry Jack's new range made with Kit Kat.
crunchy chalk wafer pieces in a soft, creamy, chocolatey storm, and new barista ice drinks made with Kit Kat. Get iced coffee or iced chocolate made with Kit Kat only at Hungry Jack's. At Officeworks, we won't be beaten on price. Get this Acer Aspire 1 laptop for $397. Or this Samsung Galaxy A15 5G smartphone for $327. Make bigger things happen at Officeworks. 11 essential vitamins and minerals. Low GI. Protein. It's amazing what they squeeze into an up and go. We squeeze more good stuff in, so you can get more out. Also available in up and go protein. Picnicking in one of Dad's favourite places, surrounded by all his favourite faces. Getting the girls around to Jones, so Sarah knows she's not alone. Raising cash with this motley crew, it really is the least we can do. Baking my wife's pecan pie, one thing I'll always remember her by. All of us will be affected by cancer at some point in our lives, so this Australia's biggest morning tea, let's make it personal. Announcing Radcliffe Way's newest land release, The Bayless. With land from only $339,000, don't miss this exciting opportunity to secure your future. Inquire today or go to radcliffeway.com.au. On now, Harvey Norman's Super Deals on Bosch. Get a bonus gift card plus bonus local delivery with the Bosch Series 4 8kg washer, only $7.99. Or step up to the German-made Series 8 washer with Allergy Plus, plus bonus $70 gift card and bonus local delivery. Bosch Series 6 dishwasher, Super Deal with bonus gift card, bonus finish pack and bonus local delivery. Bosch Series 4 pyrolytic oven, only $12.99, plus bonus $65 gift card. Limited time only. Bosch Super Deals at Harvey Norman. Go! Experience Greek Island highlights from 4 triple nine per person, including flights. Cruise with Virgin Voyages from Athens to the glittering Greek islands, including Mykonos, Santorini and more. Head to tripadeal.com.au. Max Coastal Castle is his pride and joy, but not everyone appreciates the hard work he's put into his garden. While his neighbours shower him with compliments, councils told Mac... Rip it up or pay up. At Mac's place, you won't find a banner of surrender flying from the front yard flagpole. Mac likes a challenge, and a few years ago, he set out to turn his nature strip from something like this into this. We laid the turf, planted the aggies, uh, we've watered them, looked after them, planted 27 trees on the fence line outside and 40 on the inside and we've meticulously looked after all those the whole time. The glossy green agapanthus were chosen in part because they fit in locally. On Victoria's Mornington Peninsula, where Mac lives, there's plenty of them, and they're also known for their resilience and toughness. A bit like Mac. I love the Aggies. My wife's an Aggie girl, but uh, people either tend to love them or hate them, but uh, they're very, very much part of a peninsula. They're really good, so you'll find them everywhere. Mac and wife Paula were ready to sit back and enjoy the fruits of their labour. They'd run a business, raise their kids, even become adoptive parents. And for six years, the nature strip attracted nothing but positive comments. In short, the local neighbours have come across the road and said, Mac, you've done a fabulous job. In fact, one of them, Craig, across the road here, is, he's put his lawn, his nature strip, he said, because I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed him into it. As the steady stream of compliments continued for their greenery, Mac and Paula applied for a permit for a carport, and a council inspector came out to consider that plan last year. And he ticked it off, everything according to Hoyle. But while he was here, I must have been a rather overzealous person because he took a photo of our Aggies along the curbside and sent them to compliance, sent them notice to compliance saying these are, anti these are against bylaw. And that's how it all started. These sneaky photos led to a compliance notice that arrived in September, demanding Mac remove his agapanthus by March at his cost or pay a fine of $7,692. Oh, it was shocking. Just a joke. I mean, I'm a bit old-fashioned in a lot of ways and I, I ain't giving in. What makes this case so curious is that Mac's agapanthus adorned nature strip is hardly unique. Just to see for ourselves, we set off on a quick drive. Absolutely ridiculous. It's petty, pig-headed, um, and, uh, you know, I just think it's dictatorial. 
The council case is that nature strips are their responsibility and Mac shouldn't have gone ahead without their approval. But just compare the state of nature strips left in council care to Mac's place and ask yourself who's being more responsible. You think they'd take a management course off Vladimir Putin. I mean, they have just been unfriendly, dogmatic, egotistical. So every... unfriendly, dogmatic, egotistical. So every argument they put up is just a furphy. It really is. It's just pathetic, absolutely pathetic. And things recently got nastier when council made a second demand. Mac had added this entrance path to the property for wheelchair access, but council says it has to go too, or the fine doubles to $15,384. So, you know, you can't take a trick with them. What sort of path is this council on? <laughs> the wrong path, Ben. <laughs> Max trying to keep a sense of humour about it, but he never thought he'd pay such a penalty for trying to improve his street. And at 79, it's a horticultural headache he didn't see coming. It's just made our life a bit of a misery. Um, and at our age, we don't need it. I mean, all we've asked for is a fair go and some common sense. I mean, what really is lacking here is plain good old common sense. And they haven't got any. Doesn't mince his words, does he? And well, council doesn't look like softening, calling Max hard work, illegal and unauthorised. So, good luck with the fight, Mac. Coming up, no ceiling and no help. The at-home disaster that keeps getting worse. I just could not believe what I was seeing. I had no idea that I'd end up in a battle with them. Insurance. It's been like this old cardigan. Not particularly exciting, but at NRB, we're changing that. With the NRB out, it's easy to book. And fun. Finding new creative expressions. Living in a luxury home we've always wanted. In a luxury world class resort. Racing experts now in the Labrox app. You win some, you lose more. At Domain Homes, we meet people like this. Like these two every day. Searching for a home with contemporary design at an affordable price. Domain Homes offers unbeatable value. So you really can have it all. So you can start doing more of this. More of this and plenty of this. <laughs> Even this is fun. Find out how you can save 10% and price your new home today at domainhomes.com.au.
refresh your dining room furniture at Harvey Norman with exclusive new styles available now. Dine in style with striking, sleek and bold new designs. Choose your piece to suit your space. Striking timber dining collections with size options and matching pieces available. Mix and match with many table and chair options to choose from. Bold new designs made for relaxed gatherings with matching buffets, entertainment units and more. See the new dining room furniture range now at Harvey Norman. Well, girls and boys, it's been another very exciting day for our friend Big Dog. Lots of adventure and fun for everyone. But now it's time for Big Dog to say good night. Good night, Big Dog. Good night, girls and boys. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow night, what a mess. Disaster zone. I started screaming. Karen thought a bomb had gone off. I just could not believe what I was seeing. The ceiling gone. This is my ceiling, my make-do ceiling. Now her insurer is refusing to pay. I had no idea I'd end up in a battle with them. And we'll have that story tomorrow. And that's our program. I'm Ali Langdon. Thanks for your company. Have a great evening. Thank you.